Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on a common school Chromebook, a Dell Chromebook 3100. I'm going to show you how to get inside and access your speakers in case you need to replace them. So first thing you want to do guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. Then we're going to flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Okay, so to take the bottom case off, you have three screws on this side, three screws here, one screw there and two screws here. So we're gonna go across and take all those out. One thing of note guys, most of these screws are held in by washers so they're not gonna actually come out. Um, just so you don't waste time trying to pull those up. After the screws are undone, I'm gonna take my small metal pry tool and go around the seam and, and take off this bottom case. Okay, so that comes off pretty easily. There's nothing really on the bottom of that. So we'll, we'll put that aside. After you take your bottom case up, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Your speakers are right here. Uh, it doesn't look like any screws are holding them down. The wires come down here and it plugs into the motherboard there. So to get your speaker up, yeah, you just pull it right off of that right there. No, uh, no screws are holding it down. Same thing with this one. This just comes right up. Uh, if it weren't for the wires, you'd unrun these wires. And then that speaker plug, um, as with most things, guys, don't pull on the wires. You could damage it. Um, there's a white port, and you'll notice two grips on either side. You can use your fingernails, or you can use a pry tool. Um, but you can get that out by just sliding that down like that. So that's how you would unplug your speakers and, and any, um, any, any plug that looks like that. Okay, so that's the operation, pretty straightforward. I will have links in the description, guys, to replacement parts for this computer as well as tools that may help you get into it safely. Also, if you have any questions, check out the FAQs in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. However, if you do need to leave me a question or a comment, please feel free. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.